What happens when a seemingly innocent comment from Prince William stirs a royal controversy? Let's delve into the recent events that have set tongues wagging. So picture this. Prince William, during an investiture ceremony, makes a casual remark about the two Filipino nurses who cared for the Princess of Wales. This seemingly offhand comment, intended or not, ignited a spark that set the social media landscape ablaze. Accusations of racial insensitivity began to fly, faster than a corgi chasing a squirrel, and the controversy was born. The crux of the matter wasn't the prince's acknowledgement of the nurse's excellent care, but the specificity of their ethnicity. The online jury, ever ready to judge, was swift in its deliberation, questioning the necessity of mentioning the nurse's Filipino heritage. Was it a harmless compliment, or a veer into the territory of racial insensitivity? With the stage set, the controversy ignited, and the world watching, what followed was a fascinating display of public discourse. At the heart of this controversy is the question of whether the prince's comment was a benign compliment or a sign of racial insensitivity. This conundrum has left the public divided, with opinions running the gamut from indulgent dismissal to outright indignation. The mention of the nurse's Filipino heritage is the epicenter of this debate. Was it necessary? Was it merely an attempt to personalize his gratitude or an inadvertent racial stereotype that underscored their otherness? A crucial element that might have lent clarity to Prince William's intentions is, unfortunately, missing context. In a world where every word is scrutinized, the lack of context can often distort the intended message. The royal family, in their earnest attempts at relatability, sometimes stumble into a disconnect. This incident with the Duke of Cambridge is a classic example. His intent to connect with the audience and show appreciation for the nurse's exemplary service has been overshadowed by the controversy his words have sparked. This is the tricky terrain the royals navigate, a world where every utterance is weighed, measured, and sometimes found wanting. It's a delicate dance, especially when the spotlight never dims. The royals, as symbols of tradition and continuity, find themselves grappling with the need to adapt to a world that demands cultural sensitivity. The two Filipino nurses comment, whether intended as a compliment or not, has inadvertently ignited a larger conversation about race, representation, and diplomacy in a multicultural society. It's a conversation that's been simmering beneath the surface, waiting for a catalyst. And this comment may just be the spark it needed. As the debate rages on, it's clear that this incident, however minor, has ignited a larger conversation about race, representation, and diplomacy in a multicultural society. It's a reminder of the ongoing journey towards understanding and respect in a diverse world. It underscores the importance of words, the power they wield, and the need for cultural sensitivity, a lesson not just for the royals, but for us all. As the dust settles on this royal kerfuffle, it's worth considering the broader implications of this incident on the royal family and their role in fostering inclusive dialogue about race and ethnicity. This incident underscores a larger conversation about race, representation, and the delicate dance of diplomacy in a multicultural society. The royal family, as a symbol of tradition and continuity, is increasingly faced with the challenge of adapting to a world where cultural sensitivity isn't just expected, but demanded. The Duke of Cambridge's remark about the two Filipino nurses, whether intended as a compliment or not, provides a stark reminder of the ongoing journey towards understanding and respect in a diverse world. It highlights the importance of language and the weight that words can carry, especially when uttered by figures of such influence. Such incidents, however minor they might seem in the grand tapestry of royal duties and dramas, have the potential to spark important conversations. They throw into sharp relief the need for a more inclusive dialogue about race and ethnicity, and the role that each one of us, royal or not, can play in fostering it. It's not just about being politically correct or avoiding controversy, it's about acknowledging the rich tapestry of cultures that make up our society and respecting each thread that contributes to its vibrancy. It's about building bridges of understanding, not walls of division. In a world that is increasingly interconnected, it's more important than ever to embrace diversity, not just in our actions, but in our words as well. After all, words have the power to inspire, to unite, and to heal. 
but they also have the power to divide, to alienate, and to hurt. So what can we learn from this royal misstep? Perhaps it's a reminder that in a world as diverse as ours, every word matters. Every reference, every remark, every off-the-cuff comment can carry weight and stir emotions. While the furor over Prince William's remarks may fade, the conversations it has sparked will continue, reminding us all of the power of words and the importance of cultural sensitivity. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video. Royal Rumble, the Sussexes versus the Monarchy.